Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, however, I finally realized that Yoshifumi Gotsuka just can't write a bad chapter. Nah, but seriously, chapter 135 was another amazing one out of Yoshifumi Gotsuka. And before we hop straight into that, there's actually two things I want to mention that I've realized within this past week that I know you all will find interesting. First, I showed this in last week's video, however, I forgot to vocalize it. If you're looking back in chapter 114, whenever Ichiko Namuri is still getting introduced to us, there's a panel that I call the Madhouse. Ichiko and Nico are working on an invention, and if you see what invention that is up on the board, it's the Psychopod. And I thought this was super cool just because Yoshifumi is always connecting the dots throughout the series. I'm not saying he's Oda, but he's like his third little cousin, and he definitely gets the picture. Second, just another example of Yoshifumi's extremely layered writing working to his advantage, Nico Vorgel, the world's greatest scientist. You would wonder, you know, who is his inspiration? And I finally realized who it is. Nico. Nikola Tesla. If you see back in 114, there's a panel where Nico's opening up this electric thing and he's like, I finally made electric currents. And that is a, actually an invention that Nikola Tesla created. And then back in the uh, second most recent chapter, 134, in Nico's apartment back in New York, you're looking up on his wall and you see this wall of great scientists. And the one we are looking at is Nikola Tesla. And I think it's just going to show that, you know, not only Yoshi Fumi is a big fan of this guy, but our boy Nico Vorgel is a big fan of Nikola Tesla arguably the greatest modern scientist. So we open up the chapter with Nico overlooking the psychopod's blueprints and functions, and although we could go through all these, I think you're all a bit familiar with them, just given the fact that Nico's used a lot of these in the past loop, along with Shikara as well, so I guess we kind of all understand how the psychopod works, but I thought it was hilarious how this dude is sitting here just flabbergasted at the fact that somebody could make an invention so intricate, all for Fuko to go, dude, you're the one who created those and you used to use 11 of those. And a side note, that little chibi drawing that Yoshifumi drew of Nico using all of these in his, I guess, older, different form was hilarious. And all the chibi drawings throughout this chapter, just all the panels in general, great. His art direction, amazing. This guy Yoshifumi is mastering the art of writing Undead Unlock. Just like Akira Kuno was, Nico's amazed by his innate talents, and he's thinking, if I can build this psychopod sometime in the future, what else am I going to be building? What else is in my portfolio? And he asks Fuko that question, however, she's still a bit hesitant to answer. Just like the butterfly effect we were mentioning in the previous video, if she tells him about the reason he built that memory manipulation satellite, it may come back to actually bite her in the butt. If he tries to avoid the interactions which he's going to have with Ichiko Namuri, who he actually built that satellite because of, it really might mess things up for the Union in terms of building out the technologies that are necessary to defeat God at the end of the day. And although this constant hiding of information definitely annoys Nico, he's still on board for this mission. But the only issue is as I'd mentioned last video, He's a broke boy in a broke boy laboratory, and how are we gonna build out this new age, new era defining technology in here? However, this is when Fuko, using Move, actually brings us to a spiffy laboratory. Especially think about it, this is 1972, and this is some like military looking type laboratory. And I got a bit interested here, because if you watched all of last video, you would know that my main question was, how does the Union have all this money? And we finally got the answer. Fuko says that, you know, I've leveled up a bit in the brain. I used the artifacts to gather information to build out all this machinery. And this is gonna help Nico, although he still may have to tinker with things a little bit. And Nico's like, damn, this is amazing. I can tell that this place is gonna help me grow a lot. And it's just another cool character interaction moment where you see that Nico truly did mature by joining the union, by meeting Ichiko Namuri, by meeting Jules back in the day. It was a big step within his life. However, he was a smart guy at this point and he understood one thing. To get things done with science, you need two main things. Manpower and that money, 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 baby. Some moolah in the bank. However, they don't have this type of moolah. You'd think. Mrs. Big Baller Fuko says if it's money, it ain't an issue. And she writes on Nico's check, 20 
five billion dollars and it seems a little bit out of ordinary it seems a little bit you know i'm pulling some shit out of my ass but yoshi fumi always writes things in well and i hated how simple this answer was because it made a lot of sense i can't be mad at it if you took a time machine you always ask this question what would you do and one of the simplest things to do is get rich she bought some freaking land some land with a great natural resource on it black gold oil and it made so much sense dude i was pissed off that you know you couldn't just simply think of something like this however he simply answered this question for us and it makes a lot of sense why the union has the resources it does especially think about jewels she had been even further further down the timeline so think of if you're investing back in the 1600s to 1700s i'd be the new rockefeller now it's time to gather that aforementioned manpower, you know, assemble the Avengers. So Foucault actually heads off to London, 1972 still, to talk to the undying queen, Ichiko Nemuri, on sleep. She's already manifested her ability here, and Foucault actually saves both her and her previous savior from dying via rescue on a Kinto Uncloud. Then we're brought back to the Union where we see Nico alongside the gang, and I know you all were just as hype as I was to see Bo and the rest of whoever the heck their names are just scattered around there just feeling like, you know, home again as they try to work on building out the psychopod. However, they've kind of hit a wall at this point. There's a certain type of material, hihi iroakane, which is actually necessary to build out these psychopods. However, Nico has no idea what this material actually is. All Bo knows is it's some sort of ancient Japanese thing, which is funny actually, because hihi iroakane is actually a legendary Japanese metal, which is said to shine brightly in a way that resembles flames. Shout out Demon Slayer. And it's not until a certain somebody, the queen, joins the gang that they actually make some more headway on building out these psychopods. And this part of the chapter really did it for me. Nico and Ichiko getting introduced together was perfect. Yoshifumi killed this entire scene. And I was just laughing, giggling, and having a really good time reading this. Seeing Fuko on this roller coaster of emotions, thinking that, hey, I'm playing Koop and I'm the matchmaking god, all the way to, oh no, this isn't gonna work. Just everything that's going through her head had me dying. Once again, the chibi art and just the way that he's paneling things right here just worked really well. Even the fact that Fuko thought that their first conversation was bad. Uh, Nico's like, hey, what are what are those on your chest? You gotta put those away in a laboratory. And Ichigo's like, girl, I don't get no dams. She's like, no, it's not gonna work. However, look at chapter 114. The same exact conversation went down the first time we ever get introduced to Ichiko Namuri. And it goes to show that like, dude, we're on the right path still. Fuko's getting the job done. And the butterfly effect, it hasn't gotten too crazy yet. But Ichiko immediately shows her value to the union by bringing a Hihiro Akane detector to them. And although it only works in a very finicky sort of way, to kind of get lucky, figuring out that the Union emblem is actually made of that same material. And as Nico finds out that he's got it right here, they get to working. And three months later, Nico has finally fully became efficient in not only his use, but his creation of this. And you know, the whole gang, the whole science team is just happy. They got it done. And now they're ready to go out to Gina, which is very necessary at this moment because Fuko says, hey, we're on the clock right now. Let's go get it done. This definitely wasn't the craziest chapter we've seen recently, but still one of my favorite ones in this entire series and just a really well-written, well-executed one out of Yoshifumi Kotsuka. Getting the lab text back just felt amazing, immaculate. Our last interaction with Bo definitely left like a sour taste in my mouth just considering we didn't get much interactions with him throughout the series. And it was obviously a good, dope, Dude, and just seeing the rest of the lads back, seeing Ichiko Nemuri and Nico here to stay was really cool. I'm really excited to see how their relationship develops. And next week, I'm excited to see how we get this job done. From what I saw on that last panel, it almost seems like everybody's running away already. So considering that fact, maybe Gina is already kind of like, you know, like imposing her ability is already manifested. However, even if we can save 20,000 people, that's a lot. 40,000 people got snoop snap snooped by Gina. So let's see if we can get this shit done. I have no idea. I'm praying to God we can. And at the end of the day, I'm just a happy man reading on that unluck. And I know all y'all ladies and gentlemen are feeling the same way. So 
hasta luego more videos to come this week chainsaw man i'm gonna start doing like double chapter videos including the animes and those and see how that works whenever undead unluck comes out i'm doing like all undead unluck shit though don't worry oh i mean hasta luego <laughs>